Hello, Source Codex, aka Jazz Fusion Guy here, with a little shop tip. This is probably not something that is quite that unique an idea, but something I came up with, thought I'd share it with you guys. There's probably 10,000 other people that have done this, but I may be the only one putting it on YouTube. And we'll talk about how do you take a 150 grit piece of sandpaper here that you would wrap around a sanding block or whatever, but you want to use it on your orbital saw? Well, you take an old worn out orbital saw pad that still has got the adhering backing, the cloth backing, that will adhere to your orbital saw. And here's one uh, that I did earlier. You'll notice it doesn't completely cover the pad, but it's pretty good enough coverage. And I'll show you how to get one of these to these for these. You might ask, why would you bother doing that? Well, suppose you're in the middle of a job and uh, you run out of your 150s or your 120s or your 60s or your 80s in an orbital pad sander, but you've got the right grit here and you want to use an orbital sander. I'll show you in just a few minutes how easy it is to do. Okay, I'm back. It was a lot less than a few minutes. So, here is one that I made before. You might ask yourself, why did I even bother making this? Well, it's simple. I was in the middle of uh, sanding down this uh, workbench, <clears throat> as I'll put a link into another video uh, that I made about that whole job. And I, I wore out my 120s pretty much, uh, but I had a 150 grid at home, but uh, this fits a palm sander, and uh, I didn't have one of those. So, what do you do? Y'all are going to be able to figure this out really quick, like, okay, so you center this wore out orbital sander blade take a good old number two pencil or a magic marker whatever you want to use will work just fine then you got these guys here doesn't have to be pretty just has to be functional the sandpaper is wearing out my graphite on my pencil. Okay, here we go. Get out a pair of, pardon my bump in the tripod. And there I go again. Here we go. Get out a pair of uh, trusty scissors. Not cutting this perfect, but this is just for a demo. I will use this at another time. That you can pitch. Okay. There you have your almost ready. Um, replacement sandpaper so what I'm going to do is uh, line up these holes as good as I can that's how that looks there and yeah I'm going to use my pencil
business fun. This is just like elementary school. Okay. For those of you who think this is ridiculous, I just drive to the store and buy another horrible sandpaper pad. Let's say you're in the middle of a job and it's um, place is closed, or you're just too lazy like I was. All right, now we got that. I'm getting ready to use super glue. And I am a notorious slob, and I hate gluing my fingers together, so I got a pair of these uh, gloves on for the uh, chemical work. Okay, I'm going to try and protect my freshly sanded uh, bench here. And uh, here we go. So get yourself some kind of glue. Wood glue would work. Probably Elmer's glue. I just happen to have crazy glue. And that's going to set up real fast. And you just uh, make a liberal pattern here on your replacement pad. Maybe stick a little bit towards the corner. All right. Now, you're going to take this and line it up with your holes. Doesn't have to be perfect, but close is better. What I do, just to make sure I don't get a glue on that, I'll just daub any excess super glue away. I don't want to super glue my pad to the sander. Okay, that looks pretty good. And let's see. Try to get your holes lined up. This is always somewhat of a chore. Okay. Getting rid of excess super glue here. And super glue uh, sets up pretty quick. Okay. I'm thinking that's good. Hold on just a minute. Let's go plug things in. I don't think that's going anywhere. All right, moment of truth. Let's make us a little something here to sand. Let's see, can you all see that? A little smiley face. All right, let's zoom back out and here she goes and there you have it a non-orbital sandpaper sand pad turned into an orbital paper sand sanding doohickey 
and you're good to go if you want you can be really anal and open up your holes really nice mm -hmm. do, do, do. all right let's see that's my security system talking to me to my phone always interrupts my youtube videos all right that looks good all right there's a a cheat your wood shop cheat all right source codex signing off hope you enjoyed that mm -hmm.